What is shaking, y'all? Episode one of one hundred six, Golden Mike Live with my brother from another mother, Javier Yarena. Uh, Javier Yarena, founder of Reinvent Coaching, author, transformational leadership specialist. Dude, this guy is giving going all in today, giving away a huge coaching package to a lucky, lucky, yeah. lucky viewer so make sure that you're interacting with this dude and he's also going to be talking to all of us about high octane giving us some high octane gasoline and fuel for our leadership engines that's just going to power us all the way through 2019 that's right that's right my brother he cut himself shaving today yes I did. <laughs> javier how do you cut yourself shaving like I, right I don't here, know. man? I, what are you I, shaving? Was there? Head. It was just it was just thinking about the energy that you have. Um, uh -huh. it's just the charisma, everything that you pour into it. And, and I just got I just start shaking. I'm like, man, I'm gonna talk to Mark, man. He is the man, the man. That um, is it's just the connection that we have. Um, it's we just do unbelievable. Have, I we do have a connection, and it's yeah. so wild here today that my mic. My mic stand already fell off. <laughs> yeah, this, place is, this place is falling apart. It rains a little bit in California, and my mic stand doesn't work anymore. What's going on here, Yerena? <laughs> oh, man. So um, I, I just want to thank you. I want to honor you uh, for all the good stuff that you're doing, right? All the, all the significance that you're making in the world, um, how you're helping other coaches, how you're helping other individuals. I think your energy, the 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 po the possibilities that you bring to people to become the best person, it's unbelievable. And I think when you talk about, do we want to have a perfect world? Do we want to have a perfect society? Do we all want to get along? It is a reflection of having you, like 20 million people around the world, keep doing what they're doing. And I think we're gonna have a better place, right? And I think more, we need more people like you because your energy is just, I mean, just your picture, bro. I can have my picture <laughs> right here and I can just be motivated. I mean, you be like, <laughs> you, you don't have to talk to me. You're like, okay, Javier, man, let's, let's do it, right? I, I mean, I talk about high octane for your entrepreneurial engine, but you are an inspiration. So I want to honor you that first, uh, and mm -hmm. thank you for making the time. Thank you for yeah. for being. I'm I'm so honored to be here and and share value to to all the entrepreneurs out there and leaders that you know we're waking up every morning, uh, just shooting to the sky, just just going after yeah. our dreams, and I just want to add value to them. Uh, kind of use my philosophy that that I've been. Um, kind of finding out right because you find out what you're good at it if you fully trust yourself going into the journey and i want to share that and and answer any questions and and at the same time last night i'm thinking what should i give away right i i feel like you know what let me give away something that i do at the beginning of my year and it's something that hey if you um want to stick with me for a whole year on limited coaching here it is for free and I want to help you and that's what I want to give back to your community for all the great work that you're doing well that is very very generous of you to be offering this up your time uh your talents your treasures my friend um to making the world a better place to improving not only one life but the lives that this person will go in effect that's right I think about right. one year of coaching and i can't wait to go into that even more um in this show uh and whether you're watching live or you're watching the replay this one is going to be a super good one um uh javi like the second we started talking my friend we had this instantaneous like brotherhood we were already talking smack about our spanish soccer teams um <laughs> la liga yeah. was on fire we only had like 30 minutes and like next thing you know like we're texting each other and so like i love what you're doing my friend and uh if you're gonna start the love fest my friend it takes one to no one it takes ah, one to no one for everything you. that you say that thank i'm doing you. you're doing as well um let's start here let's start here let's start with my cheesy intro let's break down the fourth wall i'm going to talk about my cheesy intro for people who haven't met me um name is mark cordone i am the founder of the make money coaching program i'm also the chief disruptive officer have you ever heard that term before chief disruptive officer 
of the joy revolution. Yes, look over my shoulder. I've got free advertising now in my new studio. I'm the founder of the joy revolution. And more importantly, I'm a positive psychology coach, which means this. For everyone watching live or on the replay, um, Javier as well, um, I ask two questions of every single person that I interact with. The first one is this. Today, how happy are you feeling? How happy are you feeling? And then the second question I ask is today, how much are you living in your purpose and mm. meaning? So Javier, I have the same question for you. How happy are you feeling today? And how much are you living in your full purpose, my friend? Um, I'm, I wake up every day very grateful. Um, it's, and today I is, is, I'm doing a separate project with my wife. I won't get into the details until we announce it. Yeah. But um, I have to do a lot of writing, a lot of reflecting. And one of the things that I talk about is we always have a tendency to look back in our lives and either be ashamed or we just don't want to remember for all these negative things. But we stop to think that there's so much strength for those things, those bad things that happen that made you who you are, you know. And you have to be so grateful. And I wake up myself and I always tell myself, I had this story one day, I tell everybody, all my clients, everybody, I say, I, I, I remember this story. One day I look at myself, I say, oh man, I'm only 5A, there's people taller than me, there's people stronger than me. And I remember one day I was in Toronto, Canada, and I was just getting out of the shower and I was shaving and there was like all these mirrors behind me and I can see my, I can see my behind, I can see my back. And I'm thinking, dude, you are the sexiest beast alive. And just by saying that in the mirror and just being grateful for who you are, what you have inside of you and, and, and who you are. I mean, you are a gift, right? I was like, man, this is what I need. And I tell that to myself all the time, no matter what, you know, no matter how you wake up, no matter if you cut yourself shaving, I'm like, dude, <laughs> you are the best thing ever. And you're like, yes. So I'm so grateful for everything that is happening. Am I leaving my full potential? I, I think leaving your full potential is keep going and going and going, mm -hmm. because guess what? You're going to hit a goal and you're going to get another goal and I get another goal. But when I look back, if somebody calls me, if my future me calls me a year from now, yeah. I have to, I have to be honest. I'll probably go to bed and say, no way. Is that happening to me? Javier? Yeah. No way, Javier. Is that, that that's how, that's what's going to happen. Oh my God. I'm so scared. <laughs> so, so am I leaving my full potential, man? I, I have this screen wall on my computer and it's this guy jumping out of a cliff, you know, in Acapulco, just going straight to the water. He doesn't know what's happening in the bottom. He doesn't know how fast it's going to go. He's just jumping. He's just going all out. And that's what I do every day. I absolutely love it. Um, for those of you watching who are, com this is completely resonating with you. Javier, I only have one hand today because I'm holding up my mic. So <laughs> I'm going to make half of a heart right now. For those of you watching live or on the replay that feel like you're living life to your full potential and also are feeling happy about it, I want you to hit a button down there. It's called a heart. Make a heart with me. Beat that heart, Javier, because I, I only have one hand. Beat the heart <laughs> with me right now. So hit that heart, people. Yes, I see you. I see you, Sarah. I see you, Christina. Thank you for interacting with us today. Let's have some fun with this one. Um, now, here's the other thing. A lot of people think that um, positive psychology is 24-7 feeling happy. It's 24-7 craps and giggles, Skittles falling from the sky, Taco Tuesday every day, that you always have to be happy and you never feel anything else in life. There's no other emotion. That's an illusion. That's false. You are dead if you only feel one emotion in your life. Um, or you are a sociopath if you feel only one emotion. Life is created for those of us to go and feel the ups and downs and all right. arounds of life. This year, part of the reason we get scared when we think about how much growth we have is because we often go through pain. We don't have to go through suffering, but we can often feel pain. We also will feel ecstasy at the same time. So Positive psychology is about the ups and the downs and the all arounds. So if you're living life right now and you're like, Mark, Javi, I was like so happy last week and I'm not anymore. I don't know why. Or I was living in my full potential for 30 years in this job. I'm looking at my butt while I'm shaving in the mirror and I'm not <laughs> feeling it anymore. I'm not feeling the passion. 
I'm not feeling La Energia. La Energia, like Christina. That's like to right. Say. I'm not feeling the Filipino pride, like she <laughs> like to say. Um, I'm not feeling it, Mark. I'm not feeling it, Javi. That's yeah. cool. Your heart beats like everybody else. This is part of your hero's journey. Just give us a thumbs up. Let Javi and I entertain you. Let this information wash over you, and hopefully it will hit when it matters. You are living your life, and right. we honor that. We appreciate that, and we appreciate you joining us today. Just give us a thumbs up. Let us know that you're living life as full as you can possibly live it. That's still full capacity, even though you're not feeling it. That's cool. Now, here's the last thing, Javi. Here's the last thing, y'all. For those of you, there's another button down there, and Javi's going to show you what to do. <laughs> For those of you living life and knowing that today, whether you're not feeling good, you're feeling good, you're feeling up, you're feeling down, you're feeling all around, but you know that today is going to be even better than yesterday. Even if you were living full out yesterday, that's called optimism. And optimism and hope are one of the biggest indicators that you will be successful today and the day after and the day after and yeah. the day after. If you're feeling hopeful, about today and your future. There is a button called the wow face. Javier Yerena, show us what your wow face looks like, my friend, right now. <laughs> Javier <laughs> delayed wow face. Given all of that, I love your laugh, man. I love your laugh. Given all of that, Javi, I know you've got a very rich story. So what is your story today? Ah, uh, wow. My story is funny because I, I'm writing about it and, and man, it's just, um, it, it, it is, it is, uh, we all have a story. And, and before I start talking about my story, mm -hmm. I want to encourage every single one of you that are listening or you watching the replay that to tell yourself that your story matters. Your story matters, man. You're so unique. Do not think that you're just a regular. Do not think that, oh, I'm just living a, a, a okay life. There's nothing important for me to, sh to share to the world. Please, please, please take that out of your head. Get butt naked. You know, look yourself <laughs> in the mirror and tell yourself your story matters. What you're going through, what you went through, your journey is a heck of a story and you need to share it. You need to be open and share it. And that's one of the things that I identify throughout my life is like, I want to share my story so I can help other ones share their story as well. So I come from a very entrepreneurial background. I started my own business uh, when I was 22. Uh, and then from there, I worked for corporate, started another business mm -hmm. and opened up going back to corporate. I did pretty much anything. I, I tell people, I say, I used to sell sunscreen to water polo teams. And it was hilarious. I, I will walk in into their practice and say, hey, guys, you guys don't want to get burned, right? Doing your <laughs> needs. Hey, I got this. Uh, it's called Moonstruck, and it's really good. And I used to buy it from this guy and just sell it. And and and, and, and I love it. I love that entrepreneurial um, world where you can you think of something, and then you do it, and then you go through the motions, and things get polished. And then I started working for... Uh, corporate, I start getting into sales, managing uh, teams, and I start noticing a lot of my uh, superior or or the CEOs of the company say, Javier, you're not a sales manager. You're not a VP of sales. What you are is you're a psychologist. You're a therapist. And I mm -hmm. start wondering, what do you mean by that? He goes, you treat everybody differently and you concentrate on their strengths versus what they're not doing and how to get there. And I start feeling emptiness in my heart. And it's funny because when you feel emptiness in your heart, your health deteriorates. Yep. Your spiritual life deteriorates. Yep. Your relationships deteriorate. Yep. And I'm thinking, oh, my goodness, I am smoking camel whites, not the regular camels, camel whites. And I am drinking coffee and I'm traveling here and I'm doing this. Yeah, the money is great, but... Am I really fulfilling what my heart desires, right? And I start realizing that I got a lot of satisfaction when I was really working with those people and for them to look at their strengths and apply that and live yeah. a happier life. 
for me it was much better that they quit their jobs and go somewhere else and be happier that make quota every month and just be miserable just to satisfy my quota and just to satisfy the fulfillments in the company so i started noticing mm -hmm. i got i gotta do something and here in the silicon valley we we have tons of startup companies and one day i we come from the same school with the you know the ipec coaching program which i think is one of the best in the world and i it's funny i registered reinvent coaching seven years ago i had a <laughs> it, 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 you know, that's that's how limited belief will yeah. stick with you. So I had the domain, I have the sign, I have the logo, but guess what? I wasn't doing anything about it. And I pulled the trigger, I went through IPEC, and by the first module that you do with, with IPEC, I was literally in tears mm -hmm. saying, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. I am in the right place, I'm in the right time this is it this is who i am this is what i need to do and from there um i always tell people this because uh i love uh how errol from the miracle morning to me mm -hmm. he's such an inspiration mentor friend kick ass he, he has a good looking butt as well i'm keeping i'm keeping tabs on the amount of time you talk about nudity this so, may be the the most references to someone being new. What? I, 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 I know my wife is laughing, and I, I, I know I, when we meet in person now, I'm so screwed because that's the first thing I'm going to look at is your butt. I'm like, <laughs> okay, let's see how amazing this ass is, and I'm going to be like, that's pretty amazing. I'm going to smoke a camel white now because of there that. You go. <laughs> so I, I happen to pick up his book, and I always tell people I have two books that I, I treasure. One is the Bible and the miracle morning believe it or not and yeah. from there when i look back i have i'm doing things that i have never imagined i will do mm -hmm. i'm planning things that i'm like really seriously we're doing this mm -hmm. i'm loving myself 100 mm percent -hmm. i'm loving my wife my children the people around me i look for the best in people i look for their strengths yeah. And it's just unbelievable when you start doing all the transformation work. So I I say, hey, can I can I help individuals, leaders, especially first generation entrepreneurs and leaders get to the same level I am and work with them? Right. So that's how I originated with uh, the high octane for the entrepreneurial engine. And, and that's how everything kind of comes about. Right. Um, so that's that's kind of like a summary summary of, yeah. of where I come from, my life, and how I started in this amazing journey. H Javi, I want to ask you about little Javi, right? Oh. I, I, I know that your I know that your um, I know that your life has not always been easy. No, right, and, and especially maybe growing up wasn't the easiest of times for you. Oh. What was it that you learned from? you know, those times, um, because like, you're so positive right now. You're so focused on strength. Yeah. Like, you're still focused on your ass and being, you know, and like, <laughs> it's just coming out with this levity and happy, you know, this guttural laugh that you have. Um, and it seems like your, your childhood was about a lot of overcoming. Um, oh, cruelty yeah. Yeah. It's funny that, you know, it's so, it's unbelievable that you mentioned this because Mm -hmm. I was touching on my book today, writing about your past and how you got to look for strengths in your past. Um, I come from, uh, my mom died when I was two years old, pancreatic cancer. She passed away. Um, and and, and it's, the funny thing is I never, I don't have a picture of my mom to identify me with her together. Mm -hmm. um, my father died when I was 12. Um, I experienced the worst thing that a child can experience, which is being in an orphanage and, and feel rejected and feel um, feel also. It's funny because I the, the, the clergy was also a negative impact in my life as well. And, mm -hmm. and when I look back, you know, I start obviously you start developing this internal boundaries, first of all mothery love if you don't get that guess what you're gonna you you in a way you're gonna seek your mothery love when you grow up right so i start realizing mm -hmm. the the the, uh, 
I'm like, man, I cannot get the girl that I want. I cannot get my dream girl. Well, guess what? Because you're seeking for motherly love. And guess what? Nobody's going to give you that until later on in your years. So I've I had a very hard time accepting the love that a woman should give you at that particular time instead of mm. I was seeking for motherly love. Um, the rejection, right? I had a very hard time dealing with rejection and people rejected me. And I took it very personal. Uh, and then my father passed away when he was 12. I was 12. I came to America right away. I always tell people that I fell in love with America thanks to the Aqua Fresh commercial. I was at the JFK airport and I'm wa I'm looking at the I'm looking at the TV monitor, right? We have this flight assistant say, okay, you gotta wait for your transfer flight. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't speak English, but I will sit here. And I'm looking at the monitor, right? And I see Aqua Fresh and I see three different colors on your toothpaste that was oh, like, yeah. like if if america has a toothpaste with three <laughs> different colors i'm in i mean i, I want to live here for the rest of my life right and then i saw prince and i saw madonna and i was like man this is the place for me jock in the box pancakes and you're like okay and then i i grew up here without really healing the loss of my parents and mm. it's a child if you don't take care of that oh man it's gonna it's gonna yeah you're gonna survive i guess one is gonna appear later on in your teenage year and your mid-20s and dealing with those emotions dealing with rejection self-doubt self-worth um uh, the, the mother in love dealing with all those things um i always tell people that if it wasn't for the god however you want to call it the big guy the, the lord above mm -hmm. me i probably would be six feet under i probably be uh doing drugs or be an alcoholic or being in an abusive mm -hmm. relationship or be in jail i could have done other things so when i look back i'm like man that i didn't really had an angel uh, uh an angel besides me i think i had like an army of protecting <laughs> right because i i i was like how in the world i happened to get into all these details and also the amazing things, and going back to your first question, why you're so happy, why you're so grateful. Yeah. I'm so grateful because, man, it's just the, the the opportunity to live this life is so rewarding for me. And when I look back, I'm like, thank you, Jesus, for letting me live the life that I'm, I'm going through. And you can thank Jesus if you're a believer. You can thank the higher power because you're here for a purpose. You're here to do something. To, to really cr move masses. So when I look back in my past, I don't want it any other way. Mm -hmm. If I happen to go back in time, I will do the same things again. But let me tell you, it was <laughs> rough. It was rough. Yeah. Um, and that's why right now I realize I have a, a deeper connection with kids that are in foster home. Uh, I have a deeper connection with, with teenagers as well because I see myself yeah. in them. And I want to tell them that, hey, people love you, love yourself, keep moving forward. This is going to go away no matter what. I know it will go away because it didn't go, it, it went away for me, but I am in such a better place right now. Right. So that was, that's my story life. It's full of stories. And, and I know. I, yeah, I look back, I look back and I'm like, man, this really seriously, you survived that? <laughs> How in the world you did that, bro? It's like you were a superhero or something. Uh, and, and also the people around me, uh, I think we forget that there is people that truly love you and truly mm -hmm. think of you. And you have to be more aware and be mindful. And I understand that if you're going through pain, you're going through struggles, it's really hard to look outside it's better to look inside and, and play the inner critic in your head. But believe me, there's people there that care about you, that love you. Yeah. Because that's what community is all about, right? And you're building that up as well. So so let me ask you this, Javi. Um, again, this positive bent mixed with so many possibly traumatic experiences. I mean, and, and rightfully so, if you were to look back and say, look, lost my father when I was 12 and I was living in an orphanage. Um, you know, basically immigrated to the United States with, with not a whole lot of family. Was there ever a time 
in which you were praying to the Lord and almost praying from a victim mindset saying, oh, yeah. why did you do this to me? Like, why did you take away my dad? Uh, why did you take away my Okay. Yes, completely. And and I, I, I'm, I'm an open book, so I can share this. I tried to commit suicide when I was 16. I took a whole bunch of uh, sleeping pills and my brother found me on my bedroom and took me to the hospital and, and they pumped my stomach up and, 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 and because I, it's funny, I, I will go to sleep and I will pray to the Lord, just take me. I don't want to do this. I don't want to live anymore. Just take me tonight. I don't want to wake up in this world that you have for me. I never was angry at God for taking my parents, but I couldn't bear the pain. I couldn't bear the pain anymore. And that's why I thank God that I, I, I didn't really reach out for substance or I reached out for alcohol and became dependent on that because yeah. that saved me. Um, the best thing I did, it was my brother said, you know what? You're going to play sports. And I played sports and I did all physical activity that kind of helped me out to go through that period. But yes, there was a point in my life that I say, I do not want to go through this anymore. I don't want to cry in the shower without no reason. I don't want to look down when I go to school. And it, it is painful. It is painful. Mm -hmm. I it, It's just something that I look back now. I don't recognize that that person. I don't recognize the, the younger Javier, right? the younger Javi. But yeah, man, it was just... It, it, yes, but I was never angry. I was never angry gotcha. of God. I was saying, I just cannot do this. I cannot. And yeah. it's funny because God said, you know what? Yes, you are. <laughs> I have a better plan for you, my friend. You just got to get over this. And that's why I understood God has a better plan or the higher power or whatever you believe has a better plan for you. You matter. You are making us significant. You will make us significant. And I'm like, now that I look back and say, Man, thank you for sticking with me because I keep asking you, like, no, no, sorry, man, I'm not gonna listen to you, man. I'm gonna go through that because I need you, right? Um, so, so yeah, it does. It does seem as if that's the starting point for this idea of living or or taking in this high octane, this idea yes. of a high, higher power. Now, yes. I do want to get really clear on what high octane is to you. Um, because I'm here in high octane, high octane. It's in the show notes. Um, and what what did what is your perception of or what your definition of high octane? So high octane, the way I see high octane and the way I want to deliver the message is, you know, high, you know, the age for high is your purpose. What oh, is look at you, look at you. Nice. Your purpose. What is your purpose? I always tell when I'm coaching my clients and when I do a strength based workshops, I always ask people, fine, you get $2 million. What is your purpose with your business? Right. Everybody say, I just want to make money. I want to make money. That's the number one, uh, you know, goal that a lot of people think, which is not. I just want to make money. Well, what is your purpose? And really close your eyes and really either pray, meditate, chant, whatever you do. Connect to your purpose. What is your purpose? I know we all want to do something, but what is your true purpose? So that's the high. And the uh, I is to identify. And it's really to be authentic. Don't be like somebody else. Just be authentic, right? Yes, you're not going to be compatible. People are not going to like you. Some people are going to love you. Some people don't just don't care. But be authentic for who you are. Because when you're authentic, guess what? The best comes out, right? I don't expect people to like me, but I want to be authentic. I One of the things that I, my wife and I talk about is if I don't like someone, I don't try to make me feel bad, but they know I'm like, okay, I'm not compatible with you, bro. It's just, and, and you respect them. You see the strengths in them, but fine. You, you want to be authentic. You don't want to be somebody else right and trying to be who you are it and and that's something that is on the eye to identify the other one is let me yes. ask you this about the identity piece why is it that i mean I, everywhere i look and it's not everywhere it's basically because I've, I've set this up for systems to feed me information that i like you know but that's my um uh you know that's sort of my confirmation bias but like 
why is it that authenticity is ubiquitous? Like so much of about life is about living authentically. Why is it so difficult? I, 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 I think, <laughs> yeah, I think people, people are always worried about that judgment of others, right? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. I, yeah, I am a fully, I tell people I'm a Jesus freak and they're like, oh no way, this guy's going to recruit me. He's going to pull me to church. I'm like, I'm not going to recruit you, but I just want you to know who I am, where I come from, what I believe. And, and, you know, that's who I am. It doesn't mean that, you know, I'm going to do some weird thing here. I'm going to do some brainwash or anything like that, but I'm going to tell you where I come from. I, yeah. And I think people are afraid of, of being, you know, I don't want people to judge me. I want to, you know, I want to be mainstream. And for me, I think growing up, the more you are uh, <laughs> rebellious in a way, like I want it to be different. Like, like, you know, if somebody takes a picture, if you see pictures from high school, I am the one that is like, what happened to the guy? He has a weird face or he, he looks <laughs> weird. I mean, I'm always wanted to be different. I dress differently. I listen to the, the non, non norm music. I, code, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did everything. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I mean, I, I, I did because I didn't want to, that's who I am. That's, and I think we need to let that we need we need to encourage people to be who you are because yeah. when you become who you are you become more creative and creativity mm -hmm. is something that a lot of people need these days because when you're yeah. creative i'm creative and i'm gonna we all gonna run at each other so i think being judged is the, the number one the thing that i see people getting really um you know, they're like, oh, yeah, I just want to I just want to fit in. I just want to be I just want to fit in. I just I don't want to rock the boat. Right. And you're like, what, what do you mean rocking your boat? Rock the boat. That's what you're here <laughs> for. You're here to rock the boat. You're here to to make, you know, your purpose. Go out there. Do it. Right. And, and I Get think naked. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> that makes that does make a lot of sense that there is a fear of uh, not wanting to rock the boat and we'll go and sacrifice us being authentic and um, the power that we have to be sort of this contagious force of change, yeah. you know, by the way, Puerto Rico is tuning in. What's up? Best of all time. Hola, Javier. Hola, Javier. It's good to see you, Hola, good to see you over in, it, it, it's good to see you, Jorge. Jorge, we're talking about the high octane system for living your life, higher power, getting that purpose. That's identity right. and being very, very um, clear on 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 how authentic you are. What's the next next piece? What does this so G stand for? Is what I call gears and gears is the foundation, right? We need a foundation in order to do the high octane for the entrepreneurial engine. So what I mean by foundation is, you see a lot. I see a lot of people that like they have a great Toastmaster. And no offense to Toastmasters, mm -hmm. I love you guys. I've been involved for freaking 10 years no offense but they go to those masters and they inspire people and they're like oh i mean um i'm gonna be a coach and i'm like all right well do you have what it do you do you have the foundation to be a coach have you thought about building yeah. your stability as a coach getting a coach to coach you what is the right platform what is your true value that you're delivering what is your purpose that you're going out there do you deliver your foundation? And I think a lot of entrepreneurs out there, they suffer for what I call the startup syndrome here in the Silicon Valley, where they just get an empty building. They put a bunch of computers. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. And you're like, <laughs> all right, man, do we have the foundation? Do you Are you taking care of yourself? Are you checking with all the elements in your life, you know, spirituality? Uh, you're checking with your relationship. You're checking with your health. Are you mm. checking with your finances? You checking all those things to have the right foundation to get you to the next level. Are you taking a step back? Because I can be super pumped to do something, but if you don't have the foundation, guess what? You're gonna create a frustration, and guess what? You're gonna take a step back. You're gonna say, "Well, you know mm. what? This coaching thing is not for me. It is for you, but you need to go through the through the process building that foundation." So I coach my clients to build that foundation, make sure they are supportive. I always ask my clients, are you loving yourself today? They're like, what do you mean? Are you loving yourself today, bro? Are you taking your breaks? 
Are you meditating? Are you praying? Are you eating well? Are you building the relationship with your loved ones? Are you are feeding your mind with books or Kindles or however you feed your mind? Are you are taking time to connect with people? Are you talking to the Starbucks barista and asking them how they're doing? Are you taking time? Are you loving yourself? Are you looking back when you're shaving, you know where, and say, I'm a freak? <laughs> are you loving yourself? And a lot of people give me that look. What, what, do, you, what do you mean? You got to yeah. love yourself. You got to build a foundation so it gets you to the next level, right? Um, so that's what how. Love, and what I love about you saying that, Javi, is this, this idea that a lot of people think that self care is is reactive self-care and yeah. we don't take care of it ourselves we don't love ourselves until we're actually in a bad place and yeah. what i love about that proactive mentality is that no we can get up look at our ass in the in the mirror and i mean we can be proactive about it yeah um, i think one of the things that that i look at nowadays is you know um you you add a, a certain amount of people on your instagram and they're Self-care days are jumping into bathtubs, like mental health day when I'm burned out already. I need to pop a glass of wine and take a picture of my toes in the in the water. Um, and it's this vacation where they're retreating yeah. from all the stressors of life versus being able to be resilient, being able to um, take them in, be grateful. Um, yeah. That these are moments of sort of activation, you know, um, by the way. Melanie Klein, Los Angeles. What's going on? Les Los Angeles is showing up today. Good to see you, Melanie. Hollywood, Matt Mills is in the house. Um, be in the moment. You will be a better service uh, to others if you are in service of yourself oh, first. Right. Are you feeling that? Yes. Are you feeling that, Javi? Okay, oh, good. Yeah. Okay, so... <clears throat> I love this idea of gears and I, you know, there's so many people that come in with the entrepreneurial spirit, but if you don't build that foundation, you know, you've got a very rocky climb ahead of you. You have yeah. to have a strong foundation in which you can always come back to That's right. always ground yourself in, um, whether it be business, whether it be the way that you treat yourself That's right. Um, in all domains of your life. I love that, that gear. I mean, you're working me up here. You're working me up, Javi. I'm taking up my and pants. And and the uh, <laughs> the age for high is humanization, and what I talk about is going beyond human capabilities. And what I mean by that is, it's funny. I remember, you know, everybody remembers the secret. I remember reading the secret on a business trip. I just I don't know how I happened to get the book, and I was in tears. You know, this lady said, hey, they will give you enough gin tonics because you're really sobbing here. And I'm like, no, I just finished reading this book. And I realized I was leaving the secret without knowing the secret, without really knowing the love of attraction. I I, I did things that I imagined. I, 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 like, I remember when I was traveling, I'm like, man, I hate going and coach, man. I, I feel like, man, I got all here. I wish I can be in first class. So every day I will meditate. I'm in first class. I'm enjoying. I'm 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 wearing Brooks Brothers suits. I'm talking big talk. I'm doing this. <laughs> and every time I will walk into a plane, I'll be like, oh man, I'm gonna be in first class. In less than four months, I was in first class. In less than four months, I was wearing Brooks Brothers uh suits and I'm I'm talking smack, right? <laughs> so the power, the power of the power of really the law of It said like a true Real Madrid fan. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smack in my no, there you go. I gotta, I gotta say that. So, and, and also I think, I think it, it goes for relationships as well. I imagine my wife, believe it or not. I, it's funny. I show my wife a picture uh, when I was 14 years old of this beautiful airbrush painting of a lady. And the, the painting is, is, close to her she in the pictures they say awesome capricorn she is a capricorn and she has blue eyes i, I it blows my mind how you can truly go beyond your expectations as a human you just have to program your mind to go for it um i have to throw this out yes. does she like aqua fresh and prince uh she, she doesn't <laughs> like aqua fresh <laughs> She kinda, she, yeah, she loves Prince. I know that. I know that. Okay. We, it's funny. We, we're we're the yin and yang. We complement each other, right? But uh, yeah. yeah, she loves all those things. So it's really going, the humanization is going beyond being a human. 
And also at the, th at the same thing is, I think one of the things that we forget as humans sometimes is the capabilities, the power that we have of loving another human being. And when we love another human being, oh man, we truly can make a difference on that person. And it can be a verbal, it can be just touching somebody in the shoulder, it can be just being in the present and looking in their eyes. It can be anything but just loving someone unconditionally and giving that, that's going beyond human, right? It's, it's really yeah. giving that. So I think we all have that ability. We just have to really shut down this inner critic that has been programmed in your mind and, and say, you know what? I own you, buddy. I'm sorry, but I own you. This is my time and I'm going to move forward in that. So that's the high. And then moving forward with the octane, people go, man, what up with octane? You're going to just go to, you're just going to go skyrocket to the moon. What I tell people about octane is octane wasn't invented until the 1900s. Mm -hmm. And entrepreneurship is evolving like Octane. Octane was a brand new thing that came into the 1900s and revolutionized the engines really. Well, guess what? We are evolving. Entrepreneurs are evolving. We're becoming game changers. We're creating impacts in the world. We're creating businesses that are what I call social conscious business to help humanity. We're creating an, an impact. And that's the Octane that we need to get a business, not just to make money. Right. I walk. I was coaching a restaurant business owner. It's like, I just want to keep it low key. I just want to have customers. I say, what if you freaking feed the homeless homeless like once a week? Oh, that's going to push business away. Why are you thinking that you creating a cost, a good cost for this time? The guy started doing that and his sales want to skyrocket. Guess what? Because people notice he's creating an impact. Right. That's yeah. the old thing that I talk about. Right. Um, so I always encourage people, think beyond the box of your traditional business. Add that octane and, and, and just go out there because we are evolving as entrepreneurs. And well, you know what I like about that is that idea of octane really changes the mentality from one of um, not taking, but uh, just sort of, sort of this mentality of scarcity. Right where it's like I have to get mine, I have to get mine, I have to get mine, I have to survive, to one in which it's I'm in full service, I'm in full service. That's gonna change the impact. It's gonna change history for the better, and I'll get taken care of. I just trust yes. the process. I'll get taken care of, and I'll need, I'll get everything that I need. Yes, um, to be in even more service. Um, yes. and what I love about this high octane model, Javi, is um, we go from a place of First, we start inside, and that changes our external world. It's not that we have to start with the impact. We have to know our purpose. We have to come from an authentic place, shoot it out to the world. Yeah. It impacts the world, and that in turn changes us internally. It's like this beautiful, like harmonious balance that exists. That's you're, right. You're That's a smart, right. naked dude, man. Oh, man. No, man. I Thank you. You know what? I'm learning that. I'm, I'm taking the comp. I'm just, yes, yes. Thank you. Just yeah, it's, 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 yeah. it's not about, it's not about taking, right? It's about receiving. Oh, right? yeah. It's about receiving. So yes. it's, it's about receiving everything that the world has given to you. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I, I, I wanted to, to get into a couple other things now. Sure. This, this seems like the high octane model is not only for just entrepreneurs, it's for anyone who wants to make a difference in the world. Yes, def definitely. It's, it's for anyone that want to make a difference in the world because I think, you know, I talk to people, I, I was in sales and people say, I hate sales. People say, well, you're a sales. <laughs> you sell yourself every day, bro. I mean, and, and sister, brother and sister, you're selling yourself every day, right? <laughs> You know, and and if if you want to get if you get pulled over by a cop and you're a lady, most likely you're gonna sell yourself in a good way. Don't I, I'm not talking about that or stuff. You may you're gonna smile, you're gonna be pleasant, you're gonna so you can get away so they don't give you a ticket. So I always tell people, I say, hey, listen, we all entrepreneurs, because right now we live in the. I think right now we live in the best time ever, 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 ever. I tell people. You know, right now is the time to really come out and be unique and be an entrepreneur. We're all entrepreneurs. 
Um, I tell I tell younger students when I speak in colleges, brand yourself. Well, I'm just going to be a software engineer. Brand yourself. Be who you are because you can be a software engineer, but guess what? You might create a process, a framework, the way you work, the way you speak, the way you interact, the way you manage your team that is going to help, right, create. You're going to brand yourself. So you need to bring your uniqueness. I love it mm -hmm. when people on LinkedIn – um, the, just, I, I love the simple quotes. I'm a director of sales and I love people that go crazy with it. I'm like, right on, man. <laughs> I, I love it. Sell yourself, brand yourself. Yeah. And I think I agree with you. We all entrepreneurs. We live yeah. in the best country in the world and we have the ability to do that. I, I tell people, I, to me, United States is the best country in the world. I have never missed, um, a 4th of July. I honor this country, but at the same time, my goodness, there's so many opportunities everywhere, everywhere. It doesn't matter what state you live in. It doesn't matter where you are. There's so many opportunities. And another thing, there's so many people that want to support you in your dream. The only thing you have to do, you need to really talk about it. You need to express it, yeah. be authentic, identify with that and move forward with it. So I think, yeah, applies to everyone, but... As a coach, I'm very niche center. I don't yep. turn people away, obviously, but at the same time, hey, if you're an entrepreneur, great. If you're not and you're thinking, hey, I want to launch a business or I want to launch a nonprofit, I want to launch a movement, I want, I have a manifesto and I really want to drive this manifesto to people so we can follow, yeah, that's, it can apply to anybody, right? I love it. And you've awakened the beast over in in Canada because uh, we got some comments from Coach Walter in, in Canada um, who says sales is more of an exchange of value. Yes. So yes, Walter. It, it, when, when, when we don't it, when we think about it from, you know, that perspective, it's not as sleazy as you think, you know, um, you know, maybe there's some some uh, interactions that we've all had that give it a sort of a bad name. But at, at the core, it is an exchange of values. Um, yeah, I, I agree, Walt. I'm loving Javi's energy. Thank today. you, Walter. I um, thank you very much. Appreciate that, that comment. Well, this guy, this guy's been talking about growing up in an orphanage, cutting his face, uh, depressed <laughs> mode. I mean, this is quite this is quite the wild ride, and I'm just holding on right now. And I'm still holding on to my mic stand you over here too. Now, bro. I my love arm it. is my arm is completely <laughs> asleep right now, dude. Um, and, and Walt, I do want to bring this up as well. Abundance thinking begins in our minds. Yes. It's not, you know, um, and once we actually switch that um, and, and to maybe add on to some of the things that uh, you've been talking about, Javi and Walt, um, once we switch that, we actually see how much the world, the universe actually is has our back, is, is willing to give yeah. to us, you know. <clears throat> It's it, it's all a matter of perspective and the illusions of life, you know. Um, so why not why not have it have that perspective that the world is an abundance place? That's right. Um, That's versus right. one in which, um, yo Jesus, why the why the hell did you take my parents away and I have nothing now, you know? Um, being mad at 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 sort of those things. So, Javi, I've got to I've got to go there with you now. Like you've really established yourself in in the sort of badass way, man. Like. You were selling suntan lotion or uh, sunscreen <laughs> to the freaking um, the, the freaking the water polo team. team. The water polo <laughs> team. I mean, what a hustler, man! Freaking oh man, I love it. I, I water done, polo I done, team. Oh, I done I done so many things, but I love it. It's great, and I, you know, the good thing is that I I love people, and I love yeah. I love like right now, like I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do that, and people go, you're crazy. No, I'm gonna do it, like. <laughs> I, I just sent out for an ultra marathon in in, um, in October, and my buddies are like, "You crazy?" I'm like, "Yeah, <laughs> I, that's the only way, man. It, you gotta be crazy. You gotta do it, <laughs> and you will get there." And they're like, "Are you you nuts?" I'm like, "I'm not nuts. I'm leaving it because one thing is true um, that I forgot to mention is the way you honor yourself is by loving yourself and challenging yourself." And that's how I honor my God. I honor my mm -hmm. God by doing that because I know he has something really good for me. But at the same time, I, I'm honoring by saying, you know what? I'm here, man. I'm doing it and, and delivering your message or whatever or doing what I need to do. But I, you honor that. And I think honoring that is living life. Going at it and live life. Do not 
you know, do not like, for, I have a very hard time watching Netflix. And the reason why I'm like, what are we getting out of this? It doesn't make sense. I'm like, all right, okay, fine. And I'm like, what if I call this guy that I haven't talked to in two weeks and say, hey, what up, Luis Miguel, man, how you doing? How you been? I just, I want to hear from you. Tell me more. That creates a bigger impact than me just taking a time and, and just binging, right? So I always think, what can I do at this moment that I can bring value to others? What I can do in this moment to really go beyond my human capabilities and what I can do to honor the life that I'm living. Because regardless of what happened in the past is where you are in the moment, my friend, in the moment, mm -hmm. right? Um, so that's that's what I live by. I'm so grateful. Um, and and at the same time, um, I, I I just wanna, I wanna, I wanna throw it back to you. Um, I have seen you grown um, and you're amazing. You, you're, you, you, I, it's funny because I look at you, I'm like, man, this guy is awesome. This guy's growing, helping his community. He's coaching other coaches. He's doing, you know, joy, the revolution. He's doing all these amazing things. And not for a moment, your heartbeat has went down, right? You just mm -hmm. keep at it. You keep at it. You keep at it. You keep at it. And you're such an imp inspiration to everyone in the community and everyone you want to reach out, right? And I always mention you. It's like, man, this is a good example of what someone who's making a significant change in the world should be like, right? So you're a reference to me. I just want to let you know that. I want to mm -hmm. honor that. I want to throw that back at you. Thank you, brother. Um, so yeah, man, that's, uh, that, that's, that's what's happening, man. That's, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> My friend, you've, you've said enough, by the way, thank you for that. I, I, I sure. appreciate that. And, um, for you to recognize those things in me, you have to have those qualities yourself. So you're thank you. just a reflection thank of you. yourself and thank that you. beautiful ass that you look at every day in the mirror. Um, <laughs> let's talk about this, dude, you have. I can't look at you the same anymore, broski. Um, so here's, here, like, I just imagine you walking around naked everywhere now. Yeah, man, like, what up, some, what up? So put some clothes on, dog. Yeah, there we go. Let's talk about this because you've talked about, you know, stepping up, stepping up your game, being of fullest service, pushing yourself to the capacity. And I'm seeing a beautiful symbiotic relationship with the way that you're pushing yourself and being of most the fullest service through this one year leadership coaching session. Yeah. One year complimentary. Yeah. So, so, yes, it goes beyond this. So what I want to okay. do, what I want to do, and this is a gift for your community is I run this um, at the beginning of the year. I take about nine people and I do what I call unlimited leadership laser coaching. It's unlimited for a whole year. And people go, you out of your mind. Yes, it is. It's unlimited. You're going to have me for a whole year. And the way it works is we do a 30-minute strategy session. We really get to know what you're working on. And then you can schedule as many as you like, 15 minutes, laser coaching. You do your homework. We get into it, and we go deep, right? I will record the session, send it back to you, and I will give you resources. So I'm giving one away to your community. I put a, a link where I want people to fill out a form. And the reason why I want that is I'm looking for committed people because I am willing to commit a whole full year to you. And I want to make sure that I want to work with people that are willing to be coached in this high obtained um, for the entrepreneur engine process and just get very laser focused. So that's what I have. It's funny. I was like, Unbelievable. should I give away this? Should I give away that? I'm like, you know what? I just want to give away that because all the work, great work that you're doing, um, I want to, I want to, you know, offer it to your community so they can they can use it as well. And then, you know, uh, just fill out the application if you're interested. And then, you know, I will select someone that kind of fits that criteria. And then we do that 30 minutes. So that's I, that's what I want to offer. It's in the show notes, y'all. It's in the Google form show notes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah. Um, uh, my wife and I were working on a book. That's another yeah. story coming up, and and that's that's another journey that I'm taking. That's another of my human be, be, beyond human capabilities, and and we're doing that. And and that's another journey that when it, it comes, not fully, it's half baked right now. We're in the uh, we're in the first editing process, and when that come out, I'd love to share it with with your community as well. 
And anytime and you want to come back, anytime you want to come back, I, I would love to have you. I would love to interview you and your wife as well. Oh um, man, you, you have, oh, she's, uh, yeah, man, she's definitely, you, she's, you have about high energy, man. That's, she's high, super obtained energy. I don't know if <laughs> it's super obtained, but she is, she really is. She's, uh, you, and you have to bring this drawing. You have to bring this drawing that you had since you were like 14. Um, of 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 her in the 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 Capricorn or yeah you, yeah you have to bring this um and if it's not in the book put it in the book baby put it in the book <laughs> son so because <laughs> we don't want to see your ass in the book that's you right man you don't you don't want to see that only me can see that right yeah yeah only right. only you right. my friend that's it so, that's it Javier you've said enough you've said enough my friend for this round um apply now this is amazing one year of free high octane uh coaching from javi um just to the golden mic live community amazing amazing um thank you for that um and thank you for serving the community to the fullest thank here you here we go baby this is why the show is called the golden mic javi oh, and by it. the way i'm i'm on the west coast now which means hopefully we'll have a better chance of oh man it. yeah we definitely have yeah to i'm in i'm in big sur or that area um, for a, a an IPEC thing this weekend. So let's oh, talk, cool. man. I, I don't know. Good. Yeah, but here's why it's called the Golden Mic Live, Javi. Because right now a Golden Mic is coming down from your ceiling over there in Silicon Valley. Um, that Golden Mic is stopping in front of you. Now, the thing that makes this Golden Mic special, Javi, is that it translates into every language all across the world for two minutes or less. The world is listening to what it is that you want to put down right now. So Javier Yerena, your golden mic is live now. All right. So what what I'm I think what I what I want to put to the to the world is is that I think about it, you know, it, it kind of looks cliche that saying love, but get to the point that people are aware of fully loving themselves. Uh, we are perfect. We are unique. We're a gift. And that's my message that I want to tell people. There is no more suffering. Um, that time has ended. Love yourself and, and keep loving others and keep moving at it. And I know it sounds cliche, but um, I want to tell people that I went through a lot of suffering. And I know there's people out there that went that suffer more than me, but it end today. Today we're gonna end that, and we're gonna look at the strengths and the gifts that you have, and put that love to action. And that's what I want to share to the world. Javier Yerena, I want you to proudly hold that golden mic up and yeah, <laughs> I want you to throw that golden mic like it's hot because you just destroyed this interview, my friend. Ah, yes, Destroy it. <laughs> now I need you to put on some pants, son. Put on some pants for God's sake, Javi. That's right. Um, Javier Yerena, amazing. Go and check out um, the application for the Google uh, or through the Google form for one year free unlimited coaching through the high octane system. Javier, y'all have to watch this one again. Share it out to your friends. Share it out to the world because this is a person who's blowing up in 2019 even more than he already has been. And I can't wait to have you um, as soon as that book is finished or towards the end or wherever, whenever you want to jump back That's on uh, with your wife. Um, here on behalf of uh, Javi, we are going to turn off the golden mic for the weekend so that we can spend the weekend with our family and our friends and get away from social media for a little bit. Um, so we encourage you to do the same. Be around the people who care about you and who you care about. Spend time with them. I'll be back again on Monday with the great Walter Aguilar to talk more about purpose and passion. Um, so we're going to continue this dialogue um, from Canada. And the final question that I have on behalf of Javier and myself is this. If you're feeling happy and you're living life to its fullest purpose, what is your responsibility to change history for the better? I'm Mark Cordone. This is Javier Yerena. Javier, thank you again. We'll see you soon. Take care, y'all. Right. Thank Bye. you. Oh, my God.